guests epitomize true grit. The stars of the Ride TV series, Cowgirls, are women who are breaking traditional gender stereotypes in the male-dominated sport of bronc riding. We're going to meet them shortly, but first, we caught up with them recently, competing at the 88th annual Mejia, Texas Rodeo. Watch. I entered my first rodeo and rode and ended up winning it, and it just has taken off ever since then. Growing up in Kentucky, the horse culture is incredibly strong, so you're kind of born into it. When I was about 14 years old, Dakota came into my life. He taught me a lot of uh, hard lessons, but it was very rewarding. I started roping with the guys, and I had a lot of people give me crap about it because I wasn't very good. I rode calves and steers, and then there's a point you get too big for that. <laughs> so you have to move up to the bigger animals. I compete on the rough end of it, but I have been on the glamour side of it as well. I, I really like being rodeo queen. I call myself a cowboy girl. These six women are trailblazers, riding the professional rodeo circuit and competing in a rough sport dominated by men. I was always treated like a girl running barrels. I just persevered through it. I didn't get much adrenaline with the barrel race, and I just wanted something a little rougher, a little more heart pounding. It's not a fluff sport. It's not a powder puff version of like powder puff football or something. It's the real thing. No, there were a lot of guys that didn't want us there, didn't think we were good enough to be there, and they didn't want to see you succeed. It definitely can be so intimidating going into a you know, show knowing, oh, I'm the only female here, is anyone going to even help me? And once you break into that good old boys club, and they're like, you know what, she's a real deal, it's a really great thing. Bronc, or rough stock riding, is not for the faint of heart, and these gals show their true grit in the rodeo arena. When you nod your head and they open that gate, your mind goes blank. The adrenaline really takes over. The goal is to stay in the saddle for eight seconds. It's very physically demanding, and if you don't treat it as a physical sport, then it's going to be even tougher on your body. Sometimes the horse wins, and getting bucked off comes with the price of pain. How about you put your hands together for the number one cowgirls? I had some pretty major concussions. Uh, I have had a horse run over the top of me back in like 2012 and broke four of my ribs. Despite the bumps, bruises, and broken bones, these women dust themselves off and get right back in the saddle. Just seeing us ride out in the arena just kind of says all that needs to be said. Shows our determination and our grit for it all and our skill at what we do. Oh, please welcome Duke Wimberly, Rainey Gibbs, Brittany Miller, Jane Rivercombe, Sarah Brown and Billy Halverson. So exciting to have you here. You know this is my lifelong dream to be a cowgirl. It's like it's my <laughs> lifelong dream. All the way back to my Olin Mills family picture in 1975. Um, okay, so you're, you're real life cowgirls. And the first thing I want to know is when you are doing that for those eight seconds, what is going through your heads? Oh my gosh. It's... I'm starting to speak with a southern accent. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I'm not from the south. Girl, I got you covered with that. Right? Does it just happen? Oh, yes. What's this going through your hands? Organic. Um, whenever you're actually on the Bronx, you know, you're always thinking hustle, stay in the center, and just get a ride. I thought it would be more like, holy sh. <laughs> no? Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes that's all going really, really wrong. Yeah. No, so now we saw that, it, Brittany, you've come off the horse. Yeah. And uh, what happened half to a you? second. How many things were broken? Nothing. Nothing? Nope. <laughs> I've never broken anything. Just her pride. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pride yeah. gone. I don't, need, I don't see how there's any landing it well. How do you ever get off the horse you easily? You learn how to roll. The pickup man. Mm -hmm. Oh, he comes and grabs like, you? Yeah. yeah. Yes, ma'am. But how, what percentage of the time does the horse step on you? It, it just rare. depends how, yeah. how you fall off. Yeah. If you fall off underneath the horse, he's probably going to step on you. If you fall off kind of away. So try to fall try, far. Try okay. to, right. you have to when, you, when you roll hit yourself. the dirt, roll. Yeah, you have to learn how to fall. All right, can, so let me ask you, how many of you, raise your hand if you've had a concussion in this sport. Raise your hand if you've had a broken bone. Right. Raise your hand if you thought, why didn't I choose a different profession? <laughs> Here's the thing about this. Oh, first of all, can I ask you why is it bronc? I always thought it was bronco. No. Everyone it's thinks it's bronco. <laughs> yeah, can you explain that to me? It, it's terminology has yeah. changed over the years. Okay, it's just yeah. not bronco. Oh, it's just it's, not bronco. Yeah. Um, this 
is actually a sport in which very few women participate. And it's not just because women don't have an interest in it. It's because some of the states don't allow it. Mm -hmm. Some of the states still, traditionally, for 100 years, the states in this country have said, this is not for the ladies. Uh, and these ladies said, mm, we'll just see about that. We'll pick it up there after the break. So we're continuing now with the stars of Cowgirls, a series that follows women who compete in the male-dominated rodeo sport of bronc riding, um, a sport in which traditionally many states have said no women allowed. I want to ask you, Rainey, uh, Kentucky didn't like the idea of women in that sport, mm -hmm. and so that's your hometown, home, yep. home state. Yep. How would you deal with that? I had to build a really strong reputation. Uh, I had to start out in Texas, you know, consistently going to rodeos and showing people that I wasn't just going to go out and get hurt so that I could come back to Kentucky and compete. I mean, rodeo is absolutely about word of mouth. And if you have a bad reputation, people are going to kick you out. Mm -hmm. Like, they will not want you. You're not going to get that extra break. Yeah. Jane, is it true that you wear false eyelashes while you ride the bronc? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that. My inner, I was a rodeo queen, and so I just like to have that extra little touch of, you know, my falsies on. I, I gotta look good, come on. That's the ultimate, though, of, like, you know, courage, Definitely. but also femininity, yeah. which are not mutually exclusive. Exactly. But now can I ask you, as an animal lover, I do worry about the horses. Are, do, should we worry about the horses? Like, how do you make them buck like that? Do you have to hurt them? No, ma'am. Well, the thing is that people don't understand is that the horse is half of our score. And so, therefore, they're strategically bred to buck like that. All horses, it's a natural movement. All horses buck in the wild and at home. Even armed horses do it. <laughs> and the thing is that if um, no horses can buck to that magnitude like some of these rodeo horses can. So they're str strategically bred for that. And the thing is, if we were hurting these animals and abusing them, they simply just wouldn't buck. You know, they're mm -hmm. athletes. I've seen these horses get acupuncture done, they get their feet trimmed, they get professional massages. Wow. I mean, there's a lot of money, I mean, in these horses to perform. It's a very competitive, and so, I mean, even if you throw your hat in the arena at the horse, you're going to get a fine okay. um, from the association. So it's very, very... Um, Try to strict. make it as safe as, as you yes. can. Um, you're, are you a mom? Do yes, you, you're, you're the one who's mom, right? You're the one yes, ma'am. So <laughs> how, how old are your kids? I have a little boy, he's two. And does he see what you do? Yes, ma'am, he does. What do you think he thinks of that? I don't know yet. I mean, he don't, he don't really talk a whole lot right now. But <laughs> you had to take nine months off, I assume. Uh, at least. I actually took a whole year off. Yeah. I mean, every bit of it. And it's been interesting. But he, it's really cute because he likes to watch me. He likes to ride himself, but obviously not bucking horses. No. But <laughs> it's, it's pretty cute when he sees me on TV or on a video. He says, Mama. And well, they were cool. saying that... Um, They've all fallen off, but the only shame is when you get when you fall off a horse that's not bucking, right? When you get because there's no shame in that. Now, can I ask you, Sarah? I know you said that you you were bullied for your interest in, in bronc riding, or well, how so? Not necessarily bullied, but I had just um, in my hometown I had done cheerleading and been kind of the girly girl. I had always hung out with the boys and rough and tough in the dirt, but I guess. Once I started following the rodeo path more, people were like, oh, you know, who is this girl all of a sudden? Because mm -hmm. not many people rodeoed or did anything that in my school district. So I moved um, to the next school district to be on the rodeo team there and made a bunch of friends and had a bunch of fun. So. Right. Good. And now you're in a permanent sorority of women doing <laughs> the impossible. Billy, um, not only do you ride Bronx, but can you tell the audience what your other favorite hobby is? Um, I... I rode both for several years, and I play roller derby right now. Love that. So, I, I love it. I love yep. it, too. You're, so you're clearly not afraid of physical contact. No, that what's, that's what makes a sport fun. And also potentially dangerous, given the look of your hand. Yes. Yeah, yes. okay. <laughs> but listen, thank you for coming on and tell us about it, telling us about it. What a fun thing to watch, and great to meet you all. And I'm just, I remain a wannabe. That's an honor. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies, thanks. Again, season two of Cowgirls is set to air Wednesday, August 1st on Ride TV. We'll be right back. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.